All right, Gloomy, you there? Yeah, 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 Avi, make your contention. Uh, also, as well, if we could have someone transcribe it, or if you could be writing it out as you're saying it, and posting it in general so we can have, refer back to it. Uh, I know people on Discord, they like to change what they've said after they've said it. If you could do that. We're recording, it's fine. It's on the record for recording. Well, yeah, but I want the record, like, now. So, like, I don't have to, like, wait for the debate yeah, to finish well, and then go I'm back. Not to... gonna, I'm not going to type the things I'm saying as I'm saying them. So well, no, I don't want... know if anyone else can do that. But I, but I, only, I only just made your this. initial contention, not every single statement. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so, so my position is that biological sex with respect to organisms is not binary. Uh, wait, what? I thought we were talking about race. I don't know who what anyone told you, but my position is that biological sex with respect to organisms is not binary. Okay. okay. Um, do you have a content? Do you have an issue with that view? Uh, depending on how you're defining it, yes or no. You need to like define it like better and like sure, elaborate. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So by sex. I mean a sufficiency definition with respect to the gametes an organism produces. So in anisogamous, in anisogamous species that are sexually reproducing, which means the gametes are different, the sufficiency criteria for being a female sex is the ability to produce eggs, the egg gamete, and a sufficiency criteria for being male is the ability to produce sperm, the male gamete. Is there, are you clear with that or is, do I need uh, to elaborate uh, more? Yeah, like the, obviously the genetic um, abnormalities, intersex people exist, people with AIDS disorders exist and shit. Um, yeah, and some could say that they- genetic, I don't see how the genetic abnormalities is really relevant to that, but I mean, uh, I'm I, not yeah, asking like, about genetic but, abnormalities, I'm just, I'm just asking you if you understood my definition of sex. Uh, somewhat. I only got part of it. What I've got so far is my position is that biological sex in respect to organisms is not binary. By sex, I mean a sufficiency definition in respect to gametes, and then it cut off. So I, I don't know what you mean so, by sufficiency yeah, yeah, definition. So yeah, so sufficient. So you know, understand there's a difference between sufficient and necessary, right? So something could be sufficient to give you a certain categorization, but not necessary. So for example, if you can produce um, eggs, right? That is sufficient to classify you as a biological female. Now, some people cannot produce eggs, but they may. you may have a classification system that are, they are still female. So it doesn't mean that you, if some, you're infertile, for example, you can have a classification system that categorizes a individual as a female, even if they can't produce eggs. However, if they can produce eggs, that's sufficient for them to be classified as a female. So I'm not saying it's necessary for someone to produce eggs to be a female. I'm just saying it's a sufficiency criteria. In other words, if they can produce eggs, that is sufficient for them to be in the category. Okay, we both, we both agree on this so far. So, you un so I'm saying with that definition of sex that biological sex is not binary. Okay, then we agree. Like oh, I think I, I was under the impression that this is going to be about race. Like I mean, I, mean, I don't know what anyone I, told you about race, but well, no, I, it was just I, an I, assumption. It was just an assumption because, like, I I was debating uh, you know race with a um uh with a person you know in the other server. Um, I thought this would be a similar thing, because this debate came not directly after, but pretty soon after the other one. So, you know, it was just a hot hand fallacy, I guess. Is, is he uh, clear it was on, on with, what exactly... It was with creationist just, cat. One, one sec, though. Is, is he clear on exactly what you're saying? Just to be clear, Gloomy, if someone says, I'm my sex is non-binary, you would accept that? That's fine? Uh, depending on how they define it, yes or no. Again, it, it all depends on how, what are you defining as non-binary. Uh, so, apparently, according to the way Avi's saying it, you could be male and female at the same time. Okay, then sure. If you define it that way, yeah. Okay. 
Um, Avi, um, if you could also probably go, I don't know if Gloomy, Gloomy, are you a Holocaust revisionist or do you do the race and IQ shit? Uh, I do race and IQ, but uh, I do have a lot of questions about the Holocaust and uh, certain elements of it, like, that have been freely admitted to me to be bullshit by various individuals who I would expect to actually defend it up to the utmost. And also, I have many... Well, I mean, I just think the Nuremberg trials were just illegitimate as fuck, because, I mean, when you acquire evidence through torture, that is an evidence. Like, when, when they tortured Herman Goering with the testicle fucking crushing machine and all the rest of that dumb shit they did to him, uh, to get him to sign the pre-written confession in the, uh, in the torture booth. I think, although he was, like, he was a Nazi, um, he probably did do a lot of bad shit, that you sh they shouldn't have tortured him to get him to write, uh, to agree to a pre-written confession. They should have just got him to say whatever he thinks he, that he did. Avi, do you have any interest in going at it with him on um, any of the Holocaust or race stuff, or did you just want the sex debate? I thought it was. All right, uh, let me just ask you this one question. Um, do you think gas chambers were used in the Holocaust? Uh, define the Holocaust. Um, gas chambers were used by the um, SS Totenkampfverbande. Uh, it's just that, you know, people say that, uh, the gas chambers killed, like, 6 million. The number actually got revised back in 2017 to 20 to 21 million, which, I mean, I, I, I haven't seen evidence for that. Do you think that Jews were gassed in Germany or German-occupied territory during the, um, during the period of time of World War II? Uh, yeah, I believe Jews were gas. I know that gassing was a punishment given to rebellious, uh, rebellious inmates at uh, various institutions, including um, Auschwitz-Birkenau, as well as um, various other places. Uh, I'm not sure if the license staff had one. Okay. So, I was, I mean, look, I, I was told this would be a binary sex debate, um, but apparently you agree that sex is not binary, and I don't really have the... the same about gender? I mean, de define gender. If you define gender as, like, I feel like male or whatever, or I feel like this, then, I mean, sure, you can feel like whatever the fuck you want, I just don't care. Well, I don't know. Also, I'm also, sure. Vohan. Uh, hold up, Vohan said something in general. Um, I mean, like, many people in the concentration, camp, uh, concentration camps were criminals, but uh, many of them were also in protective custody as well. Uh, which wasn't, as per the SS and Gestapo Manual 1934, I believe, wasn't supposed to be a punitive measure, but merely a preventative one, to prevent social catastrophe and destruction, either by them or by people hurting them. Um, um, the only thing I can think of, then, if he's going to agree with the kind of, like, this given numbers on the Holocaust, he's going to agree that sex... Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on now, hold on. I never said that. I never said that. I said that gas chambers existed, people obviously were gas, that's, that's clearly undeniable. It was a registered punishment for people who rebelled, people who did this, people who subverted, and all the all a long list of crimes. However, however, I, say, I, I never said, I never affirmed the number of like tw 6 okay. million or 21 yeah, we, we, we million or 20 we, we million gas. Off, yeah, we get it, you didn't sign off on a number. Avi, what, what is the number roughly that you would give as like the, the lowball? Yeah, around... Um... I would, it's the approximate estimate is around like 5.1 million with the uh, error range of I mean, anywhere uh, that can get you to approximately 6 million. But yeah, it's around that, it's around that range. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I haven't seen evidence for that. I have seen evidence, however, that um, in the East, uh, 800,000 uh, Jews can't be accounted for in relation to uh, the, what's it called again, in relation to their deaths by natural war purposes. And so, if we're inclined to believe that they pursued a genocidal policy, it's, uh, it stands to reason that those 800,000 Jews in the East, who can't be accounted for, probably did die at German hands, or, or due to German-supported hands, at least, at least, you know, in Ukraine and such. So, uh, yeah, that, that seems to make sense to me. However, the number of, uh, I think it's like 3.2 million in the East, I haven't seen evidence for that. If there is evidence there, and the evidence is reliable, I will, I will agree to it. However, um, a lot of the higher numbers, the trouble with affirming them is that Jewish organizations, they refuse to let you dig up these supposed mass graves. They just mark them as mass graves, get them registered and leave them. So I can't, I, you can't know for certain if there are people there. And in one case, there wasn't. There was like a few people there and those people were dead soldiers. I think some of them were German soldiers even.
So I, I can't know for certain because they refuse to let anyone, even other Jews, verify those graves. I mean, you you realize that. Well, first of all, I don't know what you're. First of all, with um, mass graves, the ma there are many um, other atrocities um, where the amount of bodies in mass graves are relatively low compared to the number of individuals that are killed. Like, it's not a common thing that you get mass graves to any appreciable number of the amount of people that are killed in just about any atrocity. It's not just like this Holocaust is this unique thing where. You know, the mass graves that are found have just have this body count that's just unproportionately low with respect to the amount that were killed. It's that's a phenomenon that happens with genocide after genocide. Um, it happens with wars, it happens in battlefields, it happens you don't really recover nearly the amount of bodies that died. And so if you want to say that that's a case against the death count, then I would want to ask you if you think that's a case against the death count for any other amount, any other historical event where lots of people died. I mean, if you can't find the people, and also it's uncertain as to whether those people died, I would say it's a case against it. However, that case would need to be backed up by other things. Um, for example, uh, like a lot of uh, a lot of people admit the claim that the Einsatzgruppen um, under... Uh, wait, 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 before we get to the Einsatzgruppen, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, just to, so we're clear on this, so do you think that for example, like historical battlefields in which the estimates are, say, in the tens or hundreds of thousands, and the only find like a couple of bodies or something. Do you think? Do you think that's like, a case against the the body count? Uh, potentially, like if you know, uh, it depends. Like, are there records like from both armies that are verified as coming from the general saying, "I have moved." Like this many men here on Sunday, the twenty fifth of this date, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and all the rest of it. If, if there were like if there's evidence, like a sufficient amount of evidence independent of the bodies, you could make a reasonable case. But the, the, the bodies themselves, if they're not there, then that would be a case against it because maybe you got the numbers wrong. Maybe they meant somewhere else. Maybe they meant a whole wide host of things. And so the, the issue with that is that you you could say that about just about any historical event where yeah, I know. So, but well, I'm, I'm not you, that. that's so. Are you just saying that, like, any historical event, like the body counts are just? Are I just mean, a lot, like a lot of them. Yeah, it's up to question. But like the like, yeah, there's, I can still make reasonable two, induction stuff. One, the I mean, yeah, I, I can make. I can still. I can still make reasonable inductions, though. Like, probably, you know, millions of people obviously died in World War One. The exact number, I'm pretty sure, it's still disputed by certain nations. But you know, I can say, okay, it was probably you know around like this number, maybe higher. But you know, I'm only basing it off the documents and not the bodies. And also, a lot of people were missing in World War One. Uh, and also, pretty sure a lot of people just deserted. So maybe you know, maybe I'm accidentally factoring in those as deaths as well. So I, I don't know that for certain, and I can't know that for certain because I mean, functionally, I have to be agnostic on everything. I can't asking, know that for you're just ag so you're, so wait, so are you just agnostic for all of these other things? Like you don't have a leaning? You're just I mean, I have no, 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 I have leanings. It's just that I'm agnostic fundamentally. Like I can't. Like if someone says, "Can you like a hundred percent say that this many people died at that event?" I would say, to the best of the knowledge that I have available to me and the evidence and all the rest of it. Uh, I can say that this amount of people definitely died. But if new evidence comes along, I'll believe that, providing the evidence is good. Like, I hold that position in everything. I don't, I don't hold anything as a sacred cow when it comes to history. Wait, wait, anything should be open to question. I'm not, I'm not, so, so, okay, so just like, so, one step at a time. So, with just about, with, say, the Armenian genocide, right? Do you, do you accept that there were, uh, how many people do you think were killed in the Armenian genocide? I haven't looked into it, but I'm pretty sure there are still international disputes about the numbers, like on both sides. Like, I'm... Dispute. I didn't ask if there was a dispute about the numbers. I'm just asking you if you, well, if you haven't looked at it, fair enough. Is there any, is there any, aside from the Holocaust, is there any genocide that you have looked into? Uh, I mean, apart from ones connected to the Holocaust, uh, none that come to actually wait. No, 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 no. The alleged genocide in India, in um, in what's it called again? In uh, Bengal. Uh, it, it was in 1943. Uh, shipments of food. Uh, they had trouble getting them to there, and as a consequence, many people died in a famine. 
the British government, in combination with the Indian government, uh, they did an investigation, and what they found was that the, the clearly it wasn't a genocide, but a lot of people still did die nevertheless. Okay, so what? how many people do you think died? Um, I think the numbers now are like uh, 3.1 million. It may have been like 3. Point, uh, 3. Yes, point, like yeah. 0.1 million, something like that. Okay, and were there and were there um, mass graves found? Oh yeah, the, the, the mass graves. Like, there, there's one. Like, there, how, there's many, a how many people in the mass graves? Uh, I can't. I don't know for certain, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's like more than a million. But the mass a graves. Million are people in graves. graves? Yeah, the, the graves are huge, man. Like it's like, just like just bodies like, upon bodies upon wait, bodies. Wait, can you show me? Can you show me the mass grave with a million people in this? No, 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 not a single mass grave. It's a graves. Multiple. Okay, can you show me? Can you show me a million people in? Yeah, in maybe. Hold up. Grave? Show me. Yeah, I can't go ahead and I can't find this again. I don't look into this one normally. I do have like data on the official estimates and such, but, yeah, but I'm, I don't have the I don't have the number. Yeah, I'm not I'm not interested in that because remember when you gave a case against the number count, your case was that the bodies can't be found. No, I said mass graves mass can't graves be found. Can't be. Okay, great. So you so you said the mass graves can't be found. Now you here's yeah. a case where you accept a number of around three million or so, and yet the mass graves can't be found, or at least no, no, no. I'm pretty. I'm, I just can't find them right now because again, I don't look into this one. Like I, I came here prepared for a race debate. I got gender and sex. Then we moved on into the Holocaust. Okay, but, but wait, it's very, very disoriented. But, but but wait, hold on. If you, I don't understand why in one case you say that. The mass graves can't be found. If we're talking about millions of finding millions of bodies, you're saying mass graves can't be found, and I, so therefore I don't and I don't accept the number. And in another case, it's Ooh. also true that mass graves of millions of bodies can't be found, and you do accept. Well, them. he said that. So why is he gone. said? That? No, 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 hold on, hold on, no, no, no. I'm mute prefix. Oh, wait, did he mute him? Uh, there you go, prefix, unmute yourself. Carry on with whatever you were saying. Uh, so because... he, like, he said, like, if other, like, evidence can verify, it's that, like, if you can't find mass graves for something, and you have no other evidence, like, not finding mass graves is evidence against your claim. However, like, that it isn't proof that, like, something didn't happen. It's just not finding them is, like, well, like, if they were buried, they're at least not buried here. So, like, you know, like that. That's no, the only I understand thing that. that. No, yeah, no shit. Reason. Like, I, I get, I get that. That's not. <laughs> yeah, clearly. But the, the question at that point is, do you have a leaning? If so, in the context where you don't have the mass graves, but you do have documents, then what is your leaning? Is your leaning that it did happen, that it didn't happen, or are you just agnostic? It, de it depends on where the documents came from, along with various other things. Uh, the Nuremberg trials, I don't accept their judgment because I know that they tortured the yeah, defendants. Not talking, not, not, in that. Not, However. Not answering the question. So, no, yeah. I was trying to answer the question. You interrupted me. You said, when in the case where there's documents, but perhaps not not enough mass graves, where do you lean? And I was about to answer that, and I started to answer, and then you interrupted me. Don't do that. So, you're interrupting me again now. I didn't even begin to go on anything because you're interrupting me. You're doing it now. to stop that. Right. Right. So. Yeah, right, so, dude, me, dude, you continually keep so, interrupting no, one, me. Dude, Stop no, it. No, 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 we no, can't no, have a predictive discussion. One of us is going to talk over a shit ton. If your answer involves something so, that's just irrelevant, so, like no one asked right, me about dude, the Nuremberg trial. Just ask the criteria. 
I'm just um, asking so, you the criteria. By uh, you with the Holocaust, I know that a lot of documentation w was forged in the case of the Nuremberg trials, the whole soaps and the, the fucking Jews that got new out of Auschwitz, and all of these absurd stories that came out of there. A lot of that was fake, and all of the statistics brought by the Soviets, especially, were also faked. Like the 800, no, 840,000 uh, Soviet POWs who got killed in a uh, single so day in uh, fucking, it was the time I started, brain, it was um, no, listen, I uh, the, the, the one in Ukraine, any, Treblinka, that's okay. the one. Not uh, yeah, question. that's clearly fake, you can't you, you do that. You did actually literally answer. ask him that. You did, you're not, you're not answering my question. I no, you ask asked him. me. You literally in asked him that. Oh, yes, you asked me in the case where... You asked him, you asked him what he asked. Sorry, hello. Avi, do you want a server mute on the guy who keeps piping up? Yeah, yeah, he, he's clearly mm. not tracking. So I didn't ask him about right. any of that, any of that. So I asked him No, about you what? did. You literally yeah. did. This so is recorded. I'll repeat, I'll, repeat the, I'll repeat the question. So I asked, I asked you, what I'm asking is what is your criteria? If they're in the context where there aren't the mass graves, and in the context where there are documents, what's your criteria for having a leaning? Like, how are you? What's your criteria for the documents? What I'm not asking you. Here's what I'm not asking. So if you go into this again, just know that you're not answering the question. I'm not asking you about any specific documents, like anything in the Nuremberg trials. I'm not asking about anything uh, about the Soviets. I'm just asking you what criteria you have for having a leaning with respect to the documents or not in terms of its claims. Uh, reliable documentation in combination, uh, ideally with like physical evidence of like the graves. But if you can't find them, then you're just going to need more documentation to prove that the graves are just in there. Giving, giving, giving dude, an example, dude, you're interrupting me again. An example, giving like, an example, dude, seriously, stop giving it. Giving an example of what you would or wouldn't accept that wouldn't that also wouldn't answer. Again, right, uh, right. I can go and be more specific, but. Just stop interrupting, because holy shit, it's if getting you annoying. If you're not answering right, the so, question, I'll, I'll what I would accept is sufficient documentation. Sufficient documentation being essentially anything that I would consider personally to be uh, reliable, I ideally testable, but it's not always the case, especially with things so long ago. Um, it's just anything that I would personally consider reliable, which I understand is a subjective criterion, but that is my criterion. Do you have the criteria for what is reliable? For, and I just I want mean, to point yes, out a minor. That I would find personally convincing. Okay, do you have a criteria for what you would find personally convincing? Um, yes, like a anything that can be shown to be, uh, well, not necessarily testable, but in in congruence with a wide amount of other data, ideally coming from different sources that all confirm a similar thing, or if not the same thing. So your so just to be so your criteria is, um, if it comes from a number of different sources. That uh, that converge on the same estimate or similar enough as or similar estimate, uh, that right? Yes, at least like, they also have to be independent of one another. It can't be like I don't know, um, five five organizations from the USSR all said this, therefore that. It has to be obviously they have to be from different places. Okay, so different countries would that suffice ideally yes i the, even the, the better would be conflicting policies as well so there is an active incentive to forge the numbers but they all come to the same number somehow okay so with this um with this uh event in uh what's the event that you accepted the three point uh what it was it 3.4 million what, what the estimate uh, well I, i'm looking at the numbers now it turns out it's like 2.7 running well, no, a 2.1 to 3 million uh, but some people go for maybe like 3.1, 3.2, but okay. some, somewhere like above 2 million at least. Okay. Um, How many yeah. estimations were there from which sources and, and what was their concordance? Uh, so it was uh, the demography of famines and Indian historical perspective in combination with famine in the 20th century by Devaro back in 2002, along with Dyson and Maharata, as well as uh, Amata Sen, as well as Komak al Guada from Ireland. Uh, as well as the University of Calcutta, as well as uh, Prosperity in Missouri in modern Bengal, the family of 1943 to 1944, Paul R. Greenwell, as well as uh, the Tim Dyson, as well as Hamata, uh, Arup yeah, yeah, You're not giving me uh, the estimates, you're just reading off names now. So, like, let's, uh, let's, let's go one by one. Okay, so, oh. no, so it's, no, it's all over 2 million. Like, it, like the highest one I can find is, uh, like, 3 point... Uh, yeah, some, I think it's like three point five somewhere here. And so, so, and and do you think that's not the case for the Holocaust? Uh, I mean, that is the case for the Holocaust. However, the okay. data that people present, the, whole, the data that people present with the Holocaust, usually to me, is from the Nuremberg trials, Soviet show trials, 
uh, the Anton's Glupin trials, which are especially funny because the documents are found by the NKVD in a place where they shouldn't have even been to begin with, i.e. Vienna. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I think that is, uh, I, I, th that just seems really, really odd to me that they would find these documents that also as well were um, not actually dated or stamped with any official SS insignia or even, or even signed by an officer who was supposedly to have written them. Uh, but they just found these completely anonymous documents that were in violation of basically every SS uh, ordinance, as well as a German state official ordinance. They just used that as evidence and then killed some people because of it, which, which yeah, that, that so shouldn't even have been as we're, we're as evidence. Just on a ramble now, we're not answering the question. Okay, so your answer that yet, so in the case of the, in, in the, case of the uh, Indian um, event that you accept, you, there, it is the case that different estimations, different academics that have come to different estimations come are congruent. In the case of the Holocaust, the academics that come to the estimations are also congruent. Do you do you Actually, know? No. There's well, a wide amount of disagreement. Some people say uh, three hundred thousand. Some people say eight hundred thousand. Some people say about three million. And well, some people wait, go which, all the way up which, to five million. Which academics, which like, wait, hold on. <laughs> Which reputable academics say three hundred thousand? Uh, how are you defining reputable? Well, I'm yeah. So I'm just talking about. Um, I mean, look, because if you if you wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. If you want to say that there's some sort of um, that there's some sort of uh, individual that's claiming three hundred thousand, are you? Is that not the case for the Indian massacre? Or do you, are you? Am I? Are you saying that I'm, I'm not, not going to find yeah. anyone claiming th uh, less than two million for the Indian um, event that you're? You said accepting? you said reputable academics. Oh, also, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not aware. I'm not aware of any. I'm not. Oh, I'm not aware of any reputable academic who claims yeah, three hundred thousand people died. Yeah, yeah. In, in so uh, in estimation that I could find in any peer reviewed published literature or any any uh, estimate that I could find cited in peer reviewed pu published literature. Um, that would suffice for me, uh, it, but as a as one of the reputable sources. So, are you uh, saying that I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna find I'm, or, or that you could show me like a peer reviewed published paper that gives me an estimate of three hundred thousand? Uh, I'm not necessarily sure it's peer reviewed. However, I know it came from the conference of um, uh, of uh, what's it called again? Uh, historical. Uh, Review, sort of that, and essentially oh, the job so is review very Okay, so so well, yeah, so it was accepted by okay. the conference. Okay, so are you? So would you consider me... that? Would you consider that peer review? No, I wouldn't. But if, right. are you telling me because because con conference and peer review are not the same thing? So if you, I can, I've gone to many conferences. I can say a lot of things that won't be subject to the same scrutiny as peer review journal. Um. And, but regardless, but on your view, are you so are you telling me that it's not the case that an incongruent estimate has been presented at any conference for the uh, famine in India? Say that again. Are you telling me that it's not the case that an incongruent estimate has been presented at any conference for the famine in India that you accept the numbers on? Uh, at least no, no one that's been presented to me. There, there may be one in the world. I just haven't seen okay, it. Okay, so yet. if you have seen one, so just so we're clear, if you had seen one, you would not, you would, you would not uh, believe the uh, estimate. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd see what data is behind it. I assume that, dude, 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 I'd assume that there'd be very little data behind it. Uh, and the data would probably like be shit. I assume, but if it had good data, I would accept it. Wait, wait, hold on. So, so I'm asked. So I ask you, if um, wait, hold on. So if are you saying that if there's good data for the uh, academic conference that you would accept the academic conference number? Is that what you're saying? I mean, if they had the data and they could show the data, then I'd believe the data. But I just don't think they would have the data. Okay. So what? What are you, what are you, um, what's your criteria for like, for good I've already, data? We've, we've already knowledge? been over this. Anything that I would firstly find convincing. Oh, and what's your criteria for what you would find convincing? Anything that would be from a wide variety of sources. Some of them, uh, from, I, ideally from different countries, but it doesn't have to be. That all converge on the same, uh, number or at least roughly the same number. Um, yeah, so they all, we're already in a contradiction. And you can, and you, no, we're not.
Well, but also well, you can oh, sure. I can, can, I can drive experience. the contradiction if you'd like. So, yeah. so I asked. Right. So, right, I, right, I, right. You can, right, you only continually keep, no, you continually keep interrupting me. Okay, and I'm starting to find this to be a, a very, very recurrent issue with you. Uh, it's been a recurrent issue with some other people, but. I mean, with this, it seems to be especially uh, obvious. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I would very much like, I would very much like for you to not continually keep interrupting just, me. If you ramble, I'm, listen. You're you literally ramble, interrupt, I'm, I'm telling you to in, stop interrupting me. You're interrupting me while I'm telling you to stop I, interrupting I will, me. I, if you ramble, if you ramble, I will. Like, right, do, I can just declare anything that you say. I ramble and interrupt you a bunch. I, I'm not well, doing well, that because well, I don't well, want to be a fucking dick. Not, but I could do that. Right. Fundamentally, you continually keep interrupting me, just inhibiting the ability for me to discuss anything with you. So in, I'm just so here's the question. So, the, Holy so shit. look in this in this particular case, it's one source. It's just a conference. Um, and are you saying that if the conference has multiple sources, is that what you're saying? If the conference had multiple sources that uh, I could find to be reliable, then I would accept whatever the finding whatever the findings of that conference were. It's just that I, I just don't think they would have that. But if they did have it, then I would accept it, of course. Okay. What conference can you tell me which um which conference gives you the three hundred thousand estimate? Uh yeah, I'll check. You having fun, Avi? Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the, yeah, the International inter Conference to Review the Global Vision of the Holocaust. Uh, where is it? Uh, I'll go ahead and send you a source. Look. Wait, just can you tell me how many sources this conference is based on? Uh, I mean, like the conference had a wide variety of competing opinions. Some said four million. Some said, uh, you know, five million. Some said three hundred thousand, and they were all in conflict with one another. They agreed that. They agreed that. Hold up, they agreed. No, hold up, dude. They agreed that. Hold up, they agreed that six million was accurate, but they couldn't decide on what number below that to add. Wait a sec. Point point of progress. Just if you're sharing sources, don't DM them, Tavi. Put them in general text so that I did see them and they're yeah okay. I don't see them in general text. Are they being deleted? Is there something like deleting them? No, I see it. no it is right there. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So, for the estimate of 300,000, how many sources is that based off of? I can't really remember because I'm not prepared for this. I was, I was originally going to debate race. But like yeah, I, I don't yeah, have yeah. the data at hand. If we had the data that's, at hand, okay, that's, I thought that would be fun. That's, that's fine. I'm, I just want to point out that the criteria you've given me for a given estimate is that it be based off multiple sources that converge on the same number. So if you're going to give me a 300,000 estimate, I... Wait, what? I said, or similar. Or, or similar numbers. Numbers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. I'll just point out the criteria you gave me is, is that an estimate or similar estimates converge on similar numbers. So if you're going to say... Um, 300,000 uh, is like one of the one of the candidate estimates. Um, not to say that you accept the 300,000, but certainly that it be a candidate estimate. I would expect that that also converges. Would you disagree? So there again. So the last, the last we're, we're looking at candidate estimates that we're going to take seriously, right? Your criteria that you gave me was that there's a convergence on the number or similar numbers from numerous different sources or multiple different sources. Okay. So that's okay. the criteria you gave me to be a candidate estimate. More or less. Now, More or less. Yeah. So if 300,000 is a candidate estimate, I would expect on your view, on if on your view, 300,000 is a candidate estimate, then I would expect that number to come from to multiple sources converging on a similar estimate. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. So now this estimate of 300,000, is it the case that there are multiple sources converging on that same or similar estimate? Uh, my experience, yes. I don't have them with me though, because again, I wasn't prepared for this. I was prepared for somebody else. Okay. So when you have those um, sources and and I'm just, I'll just ask this right now. I know you're, you don't have them on hand. Um, have you actually like read 
read them in depth? Like, have you read them in detail? I'll just like ask the question now. Yeah, just be honest. yeah, yeah, I have. Like, I generally you've, 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 you've actually crunched uh, the right numbers. Right. You've you've taken, you've you've crunched their their the three hundred thousand estimate. You've looked at the different sources and their congruity. You've you've seen their methodology, like. I haven't seen the methodology, but I have seen a wide variety of sources which agree with them, and I have investigated them. And the number, it, de depending on certain things that they say, it seems uh, plausible, but a lot of their prerequisites for the number being plausible are pretty interesting, we'll say. Okay, so I'd like you to, so what I'd like you to do is when to present the different sources that converge on this estimate um, and present their methodology. And... And until like I just don't see why you would I don't see why you would uh, accept that as a potential candidate uh, that estimate uh, unless you can show that that actually meets your own criteria that you've specified uh, okay well certainly you would agree with that right I mean if it doesn't I mean, yeah, if it doesn't meet the criteria specified, then I wouldn't accept it. Like, I, I would only examine it from a very uh, cautionary point of view, but I, I wouldn't accept it, at least, even as a candidate number. Yeah. So, so I would expect there to be, um, and also, and, and it would also meet the criteria of good data, whatever that means. Um, I already went over what that means. Yeah. 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 Well, you you said it's something you find convincing. We asked about that, and you said, and you just went back to um, multiple sources. Okay. So, I would like to see these multiple sources. Again, prefix, you're just an idiot. I didn't. I'm not saying he accepted it. You're just not even tracking the conversation. Um, no, he is. He is. Well, he, he's we, not, we went on this whole long tangent about three hundred thousand. No, the question is, we're asking about candidate estimates. We're not asking what you accept. Like, from my from my standpoint, it seems like all of the the reputable sources. And I understand we're working with different different definitions. I'm talking about the peer reviewed um, sources uh, are are converging using different using different methodologies from different um, areas. Uh, do converge on numbers that aren't even anywhere close to three hundred thousand. Um, I'm not aware of any uh, strict, uh, rigorous uh, estimations that have been done, or any scholar, any like scholarly work that has been done that comes to 300,000, um, let alone multiple ones. But if you are able to produce those multiple sources, you can DM them to me or present them here at a later time. It seems you don't have them on hand now, though. I mean, yeah. Gloomy, what do you claim about race so, and IQ then? If that's what I mean, you want to talk so much about, see if it's something Avi agrees with or not. Alright, I mean, like, sure, but I've got to leave soon. Like, I, I was expecting this to be like a short debate that we would have started from the beginning and not like all this other stuff that came before it, but we can discuss this right now. Um, uh, let's see. Um, right, if I was to go ahead and say the genotypic IQ, of uh, of you know U uh, U.S. blacks was lower than Utah whites. Would I be right in saying that, Avi? The genetic IQ, genotypic IQ, and by genotypic IQ, do you just mean that if the the two populations were uh, raised in the same exact environment, then you would have uh, a differential in IQ? Of the same or similar degree, uh, or one no, higher no, than no, the other. No, sorry, I mean, I said what I mean is essentially just the amount of IQ that you're you're born with, like the starting block, uh, you know, like that you're born with. Like it's different for different individuals, but when you group those individuals by race, you also get you know the, those differences carry over. They don't suddenly just equalize. Well, I understand. I understand that, but when, that's not what I'm asking. So I'm I'm just when I when you say genotypic IQ, do you just mean that if you were to equalize the environment, so if two groups had access to the same exact environment, that one group would have a higher IQ than the other. Is that like the question? Yes. yes. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Like if, if I hypothetically, if I got the perfect, most sterile environment possible and just put a black baby and a white baby, just le left them to their devices and grew them up and just let them do whatever they need to do, they're going to get slightly different results. Or in the case of black and white, pretty big results. Okay. 
Right, so, you agree or disagree with that? Then. So I don't actually know which group will have a higher IQ or how big of a difference it will be if everything that was environmental was equalized. I'm I'm agnostic on that. Okay, I was going to try and send the file, but I can't because I can't send PDFs in general apparently. All right, we have to, we should have to. If anyone of my mods or anyone is getting fixed, like people should be able to send PDFs in general. Or, or is it your PDF file may just be too large? Discord may just have an issue. No, 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 no. It's just the the little uh like the little thing that allows you to send the PDF, like the little uh like um cross with the circle in the uh. The left it's, corner of it's the because bar. you need to you need to have a role you can get one in the roles channel and the reason we have it like that is because trolls would come in and spam slaughter pictures so yeah now you need a role <laughs> to send images are there a lot of vegans here yeah you know no. own the vegans by sharing pictures of dogs getting skinned alive right <laughs> uh there you go i'll see if i can post it now Yeah, you go. Now I can post. There you go. There you go. So we can go ahead and see that. Uh, when we go ahead and test them on the basis of various genes that they have uh, that are linked to IQ, we can see that they they get different results. Like they just they they demonstrably do. Wait. So what what specifically in this study am I looking at? Ideally, all of it, but uh, hold up. Uh, the methods, the results, and then just the various uh, uh, things. Uh, for example, just go down to uh, after you read methods and results, predicting genotypic IQ, and you can see that they get different results uh, with Asians and whites coming by far. Well, especially Asians, like above, like and beyond. Chairman, calling me a racist shit in text isn't really a high IQ move. It doesn't do much for me. Yeah. So what? So can you, you show me? Can you just show me? Um, okay. So it looks like there's four single nucleotide polymorphisms in this paper. Um, and they use this these four single nucleotide polymorphisms to do what? Uh, they go ahead and well, the, these are already linked to uh, to uh, various portions of our intelligence. And so, what they do is they just go ahead and test various individuals, go ahead and uh, crunch the numbers, and they find do do they have more of them? Do they uh, you know influence their uh, IQ in you know the same way as this other group? And they find that different groups as we find with different individuals, of course, get different results. And as a consequence of that, uh, some are higher and some are lower. And when we, when we go ahead and do the estimates on the basis of this, we go ahead and see that the projected IQs are vastly different, with Africans just coming by far the lowest, uh, with obviously um, African-Americans, I assume due to the European admixture being slightly higher, and with Asians being like at the very, very top corner of the graph, with whites coming slightly below them, and then Hispanics somewhere in the middle between Africans and Asians. Yeah, it's just weird. Like, I don't understand why in a in um, this uh, Mendelian study, or if, if it is, uh, it's really not, it's just four selected handpicked SNPs. Why wouldn't you be going on something more um, robust, like a GWAS study? Uh, because I assume that this person didn't have that available at this time, and so he had to work with what he had. However, uh, um, you know, there are, there are more studies as well. I don't have those ones on hand, but I have a well, No, this was in 2015 this was published. I'm sure he was aware of it. In fact, he, he references them. He says that these four SNPs were uh, related in previous meta-analyses. Um, they reached gene... In fact, he references the genome-wide studies. Four SNPs which reached genome-wide significance in previous meta-analyses were used. I just wonder why he didn't use the thousands of other uh, genes that were also used in previous meta-analyses. It just screams like cherry-picking. I mean, when you do, the reason I'm mentioning it is because when you do actually look at those uh, other, uh, when you actually do look at those GWAS studies, the variability that's explained is, comes nothing close to these differences.
I mean, yeah, like pre prefix is like on the ball with this one. Like you, you, you know, the more uh, S and P's you look at, the more samples you need, and also as well, you need huge resource requirements as well. Yeah, but it doesn't change the fact that the data that's already the work has already been done there to estimate the uh, explained variance of uh, of intelligence based on uh, those different S and P's in the GWAS studies. It doesn't come anywhere near this. It it like oh here like we can start pulling it up. I don't have my hand, but here we go. Uh, GWAS. Yeah, can you go ahead and give like proof of your claim that when we look at a GWAS, uh, the the differences aren't this big. Yeah, sure. Hold on. Here we can, uh, in this paper, it says about 11% of the variance and IQ is explained. Controlling for early, uh, okay, experience very small percentage. Portion of variance in a population explained by genetic differences. Hold on one second. Okay, in the last uh, couple of years, GUS has, has identified hundreds of such SNPs, which together explain around 11% of the variance in IQ. Here, send us the paper. Yeah, sure. Where does it say that? Like, uh, well, I mean, it doesn't have pages here, but uh, what paragraph? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. If you control F for variance, or 11%, here, can just control F for 11%. Oh, okay. How many, how many of those SMPs are already linked to intelligence? So, there it says hundreds. there are hundreds of uh, SMPs identified by GWAS that, that together explained around eleven percent of variance. So it just looks really, really weird to do a paper just hand picking four of those hundreds of SMPs. That's what I'm saying. It almost looks like you're trying to get the answer you want. Uh. I mean, like, I, we need to investigate this particular in, uh, instance further. But to me, it doesn't seem that way. To me, it just seems that the amount of resources we need to go ahead and do hundreds and hundreds of these. Well, but it's already uh, been done. The problem, yeah, but, but, the, but hold on, wait. If you ha already have the information that there are hundreds of them, subsuming, if, and let's posit they subsume these four, and we know that only accounts for 11% of the variance of IQ. Certainly, we would have to update our priors from just using those four. And if, and if, um, well, even and even if they didn't use them for between races, if we know that the robust, if we know that the well, there's no even evidence. Do you have any evidence that those are actually the most impactful SMPs? They didn't even. Do you know what test you would even use to do that? Or are you just speculating that they would they did that? I love it when people like have no idea about <laughs> I, I have no idea about how like GWAS works or how you would pick those successful S and P's and they just like start pontificating or just or, or just like uh what's the word? I, I would say rambling, but it's it's it, there's a there's a better word to describe it. I think you should unmute prefix because I gotta go soon anyway. Like, yeah, yeah no, when it's 10 can, people through 20. Can come. Well, yeah, because yeah, when it's 10 people through 20, I gotta go. I know it links. I know it links. I know it links the. 
I'm aware of that prefix. We can talk prefixes just being an idiot. Here's prefix, you're on server muted. Look. Dude. All right, I'm just gonna ask you, like, do you actually know that they um picked the four that were most impactful? No, I haven't like, did read they that, do but what I'm about? saying is that when you're saying why would somebody pick which four, I'm saying that a reasonable explanation would be as if those are the four. When you're making the first assumption that the person would be cherry picking without I didn't uh, first say looking this, at wait, your own study, clear, I didn't say I didn't say that I'm, I didn't say the word cherry picking, I said it almost looks like that. Now the reason I you said think it looks like that. Is, yeah, you I said it does look like it, that. that. And uh, if you're saying it looks yeah, like that, you're making the implication that. I said it, no, just to be clear, I said it, it, I said it almost looks like that. And the reason I'm not making the, I don't want to make the claim is because I don't care to put myself in the mind of others. But in any case, what? what well, I, I mean, if you're saying that it almost looks like that, you're trying to make the claim that, like, oh look, no, this I'm not cherry picking. No, I'm you're not, trying to. Not. We're trying to I'm poison not, the well. Why are we getting the this garbage? Why are we getting this like, garbage? You clearly yeah. are. Why are we getting yeah, this garbage? Like, you, you, you keep have talking any, like you over every single person. You fucking idiot. You no have... one cares about the meta. Do you want to make any actual points about the discussion? If you ramble about meta, you're just going to cop a ban. Okay. Do you want to make any points about the actual discussion? Yeah. Can you unmute Dude, prefix? You're like muting me when he just right starts spurting over me. Okay. Prefix. We're going to give you one more shot next time you're banned. Do you want to make any points about the <laughs> discussion? You're absolutely free to do that. But if you're going to just uh, give meta discussion, you're going to get banned. We don't give two shots. This is it. Okay. If you ramble about meta, you are gone from the server. Do you want to make any points? You're welcome to do so though. I literally was. You just muted because he talked over me and then you like. Okay. Prefix has been banned, but gloomy. If you want to try to defend your uh, view that you're failing to defend, you know, go for it. Yeah, you don't seem like a very unbiased mod, considering you're already calling my view. Uh, you're already saying that I'm failing to defend oh, my view, and I think you, I've done pretty gonna, aptly at doing such. Are you going suicide by mod? Uh, are you going for suicide by mod? Because you know you're just going to cop a ban also if you just start giving meta instead of actually defending the view, right? That's a, that's a coward move, right? If you can actually defend the view, you should do that. So I'm going to unmute you, gone. and you can... Oh, yeah, he fled. Yeah, pathetic. You destroyed the mobby. Good job. I don't understand. It's just if, if you if you have like robust data that actually does show what you're saying you show present the data. Um if you're gonna present like four SMPs and there's data that subsumes those four SMPs that show actually when you when you look at the with genes and IQ, it actually doesn't really explain a very high proportion of variance at all. You could um, if you pick like the SNPs that go in the exact direction you want them to go with the populations you do, you can you can pick four that and come to those estimates. You could probably do the same with the reverse. You could probably pick uh, four out of thousands or hundreds of SNPs to get the opposite result too. Can we, in get, a, in some, a... uh, can we get some running emojis and tag Gloomy with that? That'd be that'd be great. Sorry, Avi. The, the point is that when you're doing it, when you're making a polygenic score, if you pick any, and it's just because so I'm not making the claim that they're cherry picking, I'm just saying that the reason it's relevant that when you do a robust study, it shows a very little uh, explanation or shows a l little accountants for the variance in IQ between populations is important because when you just pick any given ones that you um, want, what you can do, I'm not saying they did this, but what you can do is you can, you can show that whites would be predicted to have a higher IQ than blacks. You can show that blacks would be predicted to have a higher IQ than whites. That's why it's important to not start your study off by just cherry picking or not cherry picking or just by just picking without some criteria of what meets the bar um, or just looking at previous metas of and picking hand picking each ones that meet the bar there are many there are many uh snps that rise above a certain pre-specified threshold to explain a given variance in iq what you don't want to do is you don't want to just manually pick ones that you want you want to have some methodology of seeing which snps rise above a certain like threshold after a, some Bonferroni correction or whatever you would do and then you would pick them and that ensures that you're not biasing the ones that you're picking because you can bias what you're picking uh if you just manually pick them because you can you can already look at the data beforehand and say oh okay well these SNPs 
seem to uh, favor uh, whites being uh, more intelligent than blacks. Um, and there are some SNPs that may be reversed, but I'm just not going to pick those that meet a pre-specified threshold. And so I'm not saying that's what they did because I'm not in their minds, but it would just be a lot more convincing if instead of four out of hundreds or thousands, they um, at least had some methodology of picking the four rather than manually doing it. At least they would have, if they were to just have some sort of unbiased methodology, doing it, as has been done in other GWAS studies. But uh, anyway. Thank mm -hmm. you.